two, good, one, go. I was really scared you weren't going to say quadruple. <laughs> <laughs> I will right. move you Maybe. once I see you guys start. Your best done. of luck, Ent. And Ent's about to go. There he goes. I will see you guys in an hour or so. Have a good one. And oh boy, it's about to go. There he goes. Okay. I'll see you guys. Wait a minute. There we go. Three, two, one, banana. Hey, Mary. Hey, Zolly. Oh boy, it's it's the old boys' time. It's Risk v. Ent, the classic rivalry of 2015 in HP3, more or less. The internet is being pretty garbage today compared to previous days, so hopefully I don't drop too, too many frames. So, I don't know what to expect from this race. Here's the thing. Risp has the better PB. Obviously, yeah, but Ent has only recently restarted running. His current PB being 50-48, what it looks like there, from what I see. That's not what it says on speedrun.com, though, so they're, they're much closer than their, their ranks say. Let's see if I go look here what Resp's PB is. <clears throat> Let's take a look. See if they go for Skyver Skip. Resp is. Oh, that was kind of close. Skip, he got it though. Ent as well. Oh, that uh, that was a weird clip there. So Resp, Resp has 49.22 and Ent has 50.48. So a minute and a half. We'll see. Ent definitely has the potential to do much better than that. He only recently started rerunning, just specifically for the tournament early. PB before then was like 55, so dropped 5 minutes. <clears throat> so, that was a weird uh, thing there. I don't know if that actually buffered or if that was just something from the stream. So. This could be a very interesting race, but nothing interesting will happen for the first five or six minutes, as always. Let's see if they can get the turn cast first try, just getting second try. Is that buffering, or is that... I don't even know if that's buffering or if that... Actually, I think. I really can't tell. Or if it's just continuing on. That's why I prefer to have the runners with the uh, Zully going for the pyramid. Nope. This is Benny and Mary, so no collagen cakes, no nothing. Also GG Mary, also Zali, you ripped yourself there as well. Grasp of seven pages, turned nicely, like look at that. Just filling the whole screen. And end with six, look at that last one, man. that was, that was garbage. You didn't do the one with two. You did one, two, three, one. <laughs> Both with some decent books, though. Yeah, you can't go too fast if you don't have VIP or mod. So hopefully by the end of the week, Potterthon can uh, will meet the yeah. Potterthon will definitely meet the uh, 
requirements for affiliate soon. <laughs> yeah, it's all like sitting well over the 50 followers needed. Stream for eight hours should be done right after this stream. We're at 7.78, seven different days. We're at six, so we stream tomorrow and on Saturday. And then average of three viewers, you got over 25. So Potterthon is sitting pretty ready to become affiliate after this week. Zolly finishing the pyramid there. Solid. So I don't know how these two guys are gonna do in Carpe, like what they're gonna go for. Uh, but hopefully we'll see some cool ass swings. That's definitely, like, buffering. Um, here, let me switch this real quick, and I'm gonna check in with Rusp. Hey, Rusp. Yeah? Do you have a timer going? Yeah, 618, 619, 620. Okay, it's just because, uh... My uh, my stream's buffering for you a bit, so just so I can get the final time at the end. Just so. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, <I'll, laughs> that was good. I'll, I'll see you at the end. We get, we get Spanish for a bit, so that's cool. We had Polish earlier, so... We'll stick with Spanish for a bit, just because... We're pretty close between the two. You guys hear the Spanish? Cha cha cha. Lo harás bien, Cruza esa puerta para empezar. Turn it up a bit. Rest about 15 seconds ahead or so, though. So maybe maybe only 10 because of the extra delay. Hard to say, really. Hola, Professor Lupin. Bienvenido al desafío Carpe Retracto. Later tonight, we got some Group D action. We got the top seed of the group, Ramon, versus the third seed, Kafi. So that should be a good race. Now, what he says, a boat. It's a boot. What you talking about, mate? Rust not going for the first room strats. That, that I kind of expected. Although we do say a boat a lot around here as well, and going for it and getting it, just because uh, we're on the coast and we got a lot of boats. Spanish Ron is pretty good at grunting. Ref not going for the swing to skip the pixies either. I did not expect him to though either. Let's see if Ent goes for it. He is going for it. The walk off. Ooh, oh, he can save it. Oh, the save! Getting on the collision. A boat? No, 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 no. Zolly skip skip. We in there with end? Risp getting... Not so great imps. Yeah, it's hard to trust that Gulu because uh, of the delay. As well, because uh, Resp's stream has been buffering a bit, so he might be a few seconds less, uh, actually. Resp's getting, or Ent getting a decent up there, but they're not again together. Resp's still ahead, but we're gonna stick with Spanish Ron for a bit. Resp going for an interesting swing I haven't seen in forever, but failing it. See if he goes for it again. No, he doesn't. He decides just to do these the swing over to this platform, but he fails that as well, and can take the lead here. And he does with a perfect fourth room, near perfect. Rest trying to save himself here, going in the opposite direction that he wants to. He'll take that. I don't know why he swung 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 there. He, did, he could have just grabbed that one, but. Nevertheless, in there. 
puede lanzar llamaradas con... Um, con la espalda. Lánzale Rictus Empra para derribar. Most exciting apps. Swaggy as Strat. <laughs> I don't have the kind of time needed to watch through all the runs again to to decide on that, Zully. Or I would. Biggest fail. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a fail, that was just... Just unlucky. And going for a pretty old swing here, but really easy to to get. Ent and Resp both getting fifth shield though, first try. Resp is gonna go for the same strat here. It's a strat that a lot of old runners learned and just never gave up since it only loses about five seconds to a swing in that room. The fastest swing. Let's see if Ent can get eighth the double swing, and he does. He gets the double swing. Oh, almost got the safe hook skip. Not that it matters. Oh, Ent getting unlucky there with the Ent. Oh, wow! That was... That was not great. Rest might take the lead just on those imps. Not getting quite good imps either, though. But he does take the lead. It's quite close now, though. We'll, sti we'll stick with Ent up through Fred and George skip to see who takes the lead out of there. And uh, Rest getting the jump and the swing. Got that as well. So Resp in the lead after Carpe by about four or five seconds. But taking into the little uh, taking into account the delay, it's more like two or three. Now here's here's the thing I don't know. Spanish might be faster or slower. I think it's actually so it's, uh, no, it's HP two that it's definitely slower. We don't know about HP three. Let's see if Resp can get Fred and George get first try. As well as Ent. No, he cannot. Gets a bit of a bad setup there. We will get it first. Resp got it, and Ent got it, and Ent is out first though. Ent slightly ahead after Fred and George skip. Ent saving the time just because he didn't turn around to jump out. <laughs> this is where the rest starts. Mylan's right. It's a, more like in like six minutes or so when we enter Transfig, but sure. Yeah. Yeah, and sitting about three sec three three to five seconds ahead because of the delay. Very close run though. Very close. Bienvenidos a cuidado de criaturas mágicas. Yo seré vuestro Very close race, rather, not a run. Me gustaría presentaros a Bug Dick. Es un hipogrifo. Hoy os voy a enseñar a montar en él. Tu primero, Harry. Solo tienes que caminar hasta él, inclinarte y esperar. No seré yo quien me incline ante esa bestia. Hola, Bagvik. Hipogrifo bueno. Tendrás que pasar volando entre los murciélagos para... Let's see if anybody will fail. Wait, ranks. That would be big as sales, Ollie. But I don't think it will be a problem. Both of these runners have done any percent, so they're used to uh, buck beak movement with the rest of the rings as well. Green and blue and yellow and red. Resp taking a bit of a weird line there, but I didn't, I didn't see what Ent did. He might have done the same. Also, yeah, now I can definitely tell that Ent's game is definitely not 4x3. If you take a look at the score, it would be centered just like Resp's if it was actually 4x3. <laughs> but 
but not a problem. We manage here. Lo has hecho muy bien, Harry. Vuelve a cruzar el cercado cuando quieras dar otra vuelta. Hay cinco recorridos y puedes conseguir un cromo de coleccionista en cada uno. Seguro que no eres nada. This is a, this is a very close race. Looks like Ampsane saved a bit of time there during Buff Beef, but uh, I'm interested to see how this run will progress, how this race will progress. Might be our, our closest to date. Our closest to date was Senna and AJ's race, which would have been even closer if AJ, of course, didn't self lock twice. But hey, that's life, I guess. And getting a pretty fast cutscene skip. Don't exactly know what he did there, but okay. Yeah, we got two races today. First is the old school race between Rust and Ent. And then later on we got some of the new kids on the block who are actually decently senior members of the community. We got Erman and Kathy. Sole Canadian representative. Totally not. Kulu, totally not. Let's see if either of them miss a shot on Peeves. Oh, nice, Mylan. That's sick. And having a bit of trouble there. First making up a bit of time on that fight. Looks like it worked. hechizos de transformación más avanzados, los magos pueden convertirse en animagos. Los animagos pueden transformarse en animales y volver a su forma humana después. Por ejemplo... Mylan, I don't know if you noticed, but Powderthon will have completed all the requirements for affiliate tomorrow. Should probably give Mylan's thing, right? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? About blank. Hmm. Profesora McGonagall, Did not work then. No. Los animagos se convierten en animales yeah, it cuando gives an empty touch. los hombres lobo no pueden controlar su transformación. Y en esta clase vamos a ver los hechizos Dragon Force y Lapid Force. Señorita Granger, quizá podría ser tan amable de realizar. Pelothon sitting. Oh, after today, actually. All the requirements were at. Everything's done except 7.96 out of 8 hours. So in about six minutes, Potterthon will have completed all the necessary requirements for uh, for affiliate. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, he'll need to he'll need to change the thing. Uh, Zoli. Same thing. Mylan, same thing. Same error. Not, or not error, but just not doing anything. We're just having a bit of trouble getting into the little hole there, but uh, we'll see how the rest of the level goes. <laughs> and getting the turn cast second try. I uh, didn't quite see if Rusk got it there, but uh, it didn't look like he did actually. This might be the first seated upset of the tournament. Not including, of course, the forfeits, but uh, we'll see. 
and not getting that first try, getting the second try though. Still sitting ahead of Resp, who got it, first try, making up a bit of time there. Well skip. By spamming two different jump buttons, you can climb up even faster. Works on phone, but not PC. Interesting. And getting the first leg jump, Resp failing the first, and barely getting the second, but taking the lead, commanding lead now. Resp getting the first now, going for the no pausing strats. And failing the second, that's really unfortunate for us. See if he can make this back up later. Getting the first one again. He needs a big lag spike. He looks like he got it. He made it. Second try. Or third try, even. So Ent now significantly ahead over the 15 second threshold. That would make the difference between two points or three. But of course, we're not even halfway through the race, so there's no point in speculating that. And having a bit of trouble there with the fire. But getting both before the cutscene. Having a bit of trouble climbing up. Now up there, Let's see if this one worked. Loading. Uh, one works. Got him. We'll have to add the bracket in there at some point, Mylan. But, uh, not, not too worried about it for now. So, Resp about looks like 15 to 20 seconds behind at this point. Oh, it's already there? Is it like in that corner? Because that's cool, if you can fit it there. Didn't know if you would be able to, if it was too, too big. I don't think it really matters if you show it or not right now. And getting first try, Mace that did not look like he had enough speed, but it worked out for him. Resp with a triple there. And finishing up. And Resp getting first try may skip as well. Making up for his early mistakes a bit by not making any further mistakes. Hey, you're making assumptions here. Don't make assumptions. Oh, that's taking it automatically, I see. Oh, um, okay. Interesting. Wait, how does it get the loser's bracket? That's weird. Looks good though. Hey, Tedder. How are the runs? How's it going? 
Welcome to the race. We got a pretty close race. We got a an upset on our hands currently. The lower seed Ent is in the lead at the moment. Runs are suck. Sounds about right. Reloads aren't cheating, by the way. You are true. <laughs> by the by. Man. So it's a, it's a pretty close race still. Alright, see you, Ted. You man, you can do that once you do your races. Just showing off that you can hit this from any side, just cause why not? Is that a Nixo raid I see? Hey Nixo, how are your runs as well? Did you get that PB in Harry Potter 2? We're in the middle of a decently close race between Resp and Ent. PB by two minutes, nice. Don't need a gift away sub. Ent is currently ahead, which is would be an upset if uh, if this happens. Azaz. <coughs> so news, uh Potterthon has uh, just passed all the requirements to become affiliate. So whoever has access to the Potterthon email will get an email at some point in the next couple weeks. Or in a, in a few minutes when it decides to up, actually update, but uh, you know, that's cool. So hopefully we don't get any soft locks here. Yeah, I think it, it takes a bit to, for them to send the email, Mylan, but yeah. Yeah, somebody might want to get that updated to an email that people actually check. And getting up there, hopefully he doesn't soft lock. Let's see. Turns the other way. Hermione's staying there though. So he's in there. No soft lock. It's a pretty close race, yeah. I don't know what Resp- Oh, Resp's, Resp is going for this old strat. Having a bit of trouble here. See what he does here. So, Resp is losing some time here. Hopefully he doesn't soft luck to lose even more. And he doesn't? So that's good. Really don't want soft locks. They're not fun. Yeah, it looked like he was going for the old school strat, but uh, didn't didn't after. So I don't know. Coffee going for it, but no. It's <laughs> a pretty good emote. So Potterthon will quite easily, after today, will quite easily have all the requirements for affiliate. Sitting at 791 out of 50 followers, 7 out of 7 days, and 24.6 average viewers out of 3 needed. And currently sitting at 7.95, 7.96 out of 8 day, uh, 8 out of 8 hours streaming. So we're in there for affiliate for the next marathon as well as the rest of this tournament now sitting at 8.31 hours so every requirement is now fulfilled so let's head back into the race and is now a slide ahead and half a cutscene so it's quite a big lead at this point looking at around 45 seconds or so 
definitely not the be all end all, but it's it's gonna be quite hard for us to come back if Ent doesn't make any mistakes. There's a mistake. And falling off the second slide, Rest be able to make back up about 15 seconds there. Pressure of the race just gets to you, you know. I wouldn't know. I'm not in this tournament. But that that is that is one one mistake. It's a pretty decent one too. Let's see when Ent lands here, or he grabs the shield at 30:16. So we'll see when Rest Rest grabs that shield coming up. So he's still over 15 seconds behind, but uh, 20, but 24, 25 seconds behind. So definitely made made up some time with that. It is supposed to. That's weird, Nexa. I didn't see that either. I don't know. Let's see if these two runners have practiced their glaciers jumping out. And the first one in there. Thanks for the host, Nixo. That looks like good timing, and Ent's gonna make that. Rest now sitting. 24, 25 seconds behind. Thanks for the host, Coffee. Coffee will, of course, be running the next race in about a half an hour's time. <laughs> Emma 2K, thanks for the host. And Rest not getting it. Will he go for the lag jump? He will. He, he did not jump far enough. It was also late. Not getting the lag jump first try. That's, that's a pretty big time loss here. Not getting it second try either, not getting a big enough lag spike there. It's going for the no pause method. Not getting the jump off. Resp is not having a good time right now. That looks... Oh, so close. He's going to re reload and going to go for Lacey's jump again. Strat that a lot of old runners did before lag jumps were a thing. Race pressure could get to anybody. You, you three now have three of the close... Resp jumping too early. You three, Zali, Resp, and End have three of the closest PBs, and they're all in the same group. They're within two minutes of each other. Within a minute and a half, even, I think. No, two minutes, two minutes. Resp! Oh my gosh! Ent is now over a minute and a half ahead at this point. Very... Very, very difficult for us to come back. Oh my gosh. This is not the way you want to start your tournament. That looks... He jumped early again! What is he doing? Man. He needs to walk a bit on once he lands there before he jumps again. He get it this time. It's, that's late, but it will work if he doesn't jump early. Oh. Barely. Rest now over two minutes behind. Not, not the way you wanted it to go. Ent's PB, of course, got a soft lock at library, so he went from uh, about half a minute behind his PB to now being ahead of his PB in the Ent run. So there's a chance we could have our second PB of the tournament. The first being, of course, on the first day of the tournament way back when. It seems like forever ago. 
where Emmy got her PV by about four and a half minutes, four minutes. Jeff's just finishing up Glacius now. This, this has a good chance at being the first upset frag. There's still over 15 minutes left to the race, but uh, there's a decent chance. Oh yeah, you did get an RTA PB. Totally forgot about that. Oh yeah, that's that's true, I mean. Everyone knew, everybody was very upset. This, this race went from very tight to not so tight pretty quickly here. As Rust failing, both areas where lag jumps were in use quite significantly. We'll see. If Russ can somehow pull this back, but he's gonna he requires at this point some mistakes from from Ent. It's not gonna happen any other way. Or you, there's always the chance somebody could replay a, cha a final, I mean. It'd be a huge mistake, but just one button, like Frax says. Just one mouse click is the difference between these runners at this point. I don't know whether or not Ent knows that he's far ahead, but... He may decide to take things quite slowly to make sure he gets them. Hey, Nixo. People have done it on more record pace, so I wouldn't put it past anybody. Ramon with the raid. Power runs. I don't think he finished one, but how's it going? Ramon, of course, is racing coffee in the next race. Oh, you did finish a run. 120.48. Still sub the 121.51, so that's pretty good. Miss Night Shield twice. Damn. So Ent finishing up in the last room here. Quite a decent lead at this point. Emmy is Team Frack in Coffee versus Nixo. Co coffee versus Nixo. O okay. Got it. Emmy, I thought you were a team commentator. No wait, that was Nixon. Never mind. That's that's true, Mylan. We do. Hey, that's not pulling a monkey. Pulling a monkey is something done in HP1, so let's ignore that. <clears throat> I don't really think there's anything actually named after me in this game. Cracked is officially dead. Okay. Emma is Team Team Coffee Liam. So the two Canadians. Got it. Cool. And I think that's the second Dementor that he's casted at early. Also, yes, Spanish HP3 for the past 30 minutes has been pretty nice, or 25 minutes. We've had Polish HP3, and now Spanish HP3, of course, English HP3.
I think Nixa was forced onto Team Ramon due to national pride. Or I could be completely wrong. The other option was he's completely not on Team Ramon because he refuses to let anybody else be the national mascot or something along those lines, you know what I mean? Team Canada. Oh boy. We got our Timmies. That's all that matters, you know? I'm gonna turn my mic in. Timmy's is love. Timmy's is life. <laughs> Zelly also team Ramon. But who who is Team Spain and who is Team UK here? That's that's a pretty decently sized mistake there. And missing the fire there and having to go back all the way outside and get it again. It's not a huge, huge mistake, but that's a good 15 to 20 seconds right there. Anything helps in Resp's case. He's still over a minute and a half behind, but it's now less than what it was. Team Brexit, of course. Of course, Brexit today was voted down by a vote of 300, uh, 300, 432 to 202 in the British House of Commons. That's, uh, that's some news. And finishing up with Ents, while well, Rusk is on to Venters. First crack is gonna beat Senna, by the way. Krik to Sakra. Krik to Sakra. Early warning. And getting the turn cast. Looks like second try there. Polish Harry better than Spanish Harry, confirmed. Ent is on PB paced run currently, sitting about 17 seconds ahead of his old personal best. So, not too bad. Polish Harry is best Harry. That implies. Oh, Hermie. <laughs> HP2 glitch host is better than HP3 according to Abby. I. I'm gonna have to not agree with that. They're both garbage compared to the best categories, but you know. Sure. That was a nice quad. The rest was going for what looked like a hexagon there, but he got a corner. And then a triple clock to follow it. Glitchless invitation. Man, I suggested that yesterday, and Nixa was just like, nah, that's dumb. Like, or not yesterday, on, uh. Or was it yesterday? It was yesterday. I was in Nixa's chat, I was like, so glitchless invitational and he was like, no, dude, that's dumb. RNG will just decide everything. And I'm like, nah, man, RNG is like nothing. And getting stuck there, he's probably just gonna try and make the regular cycle. And he does just barely. Rex like, give me that free money. <laughs> Not glitchless. Let's see if Ent can see. Now he voids out, he casts it too late, so he'll miss at least one cycle here. 
Make that two. So that's 30 seconds Russ can make up now on Carpe Final. That's that's gonna be three cycles. No, that's probably still only two. And PB is rip at this point, but still saved to win the race. Gets it finally. Makes it up. No need to go through the secret, but he will be missing about two cycles here, I think. And lost quite a bit of time in back time because of that mistake, so he had already lost the PB for the most part. But uh, still looking to win the race. See if he gets imp skip or not. That upset. Getting the first swing just barely, second swing, no problem whatsoever. He's still okay. quite a bit ahead, still over a minute and 20 seconds ahead, but you never know. This is, this is the important part for, for Ent now, he needs to not mess this up to all but guarantee the win to an enforced net replay. Let's see if Rest can start off good, that looks pretty good, and he makes it for the first swing, and and getting window jump all but sealing victory at this point. Resp getting the second set of swings and getting bridge as well so you know he's saving 30 seconds here he's still about a minute and a half behind so doesn't look like he can do it. without help from Ent, of course. Any replay final is just going to be a loss for Ent as long as Resp doesn't do the same at this point, so... Obviously doesn't want that. Replaying Hermione Sino is a 2 minute 10 time loss depending on your movement. See if Rest can get window jump as well. He will seal the deal for Ent. Having some trouble getting the sponge by tile. But getting window jump, Ent would never replay. Probably right, right? You're probably right. On to the last level of the game. We got Harry's final, or Lacey's final. Next to my dad, I'm turning off the lights with his shoulder. Resp is low-key coming back a bit, but it seems to be that he just made way too many mistakes earlier on at lag jumps and in uh, Glacius jump. Have any chance really. Failing Glacius jump, jump about a dozen times I think. Not, not the greatest. That's true, Ras, but if it moved up slightly or something, he could have some problems. Just finishing up with Hermione's final. On to the last level as well. 
There's another race after this. We got Ramon, who's in the chat. And Coffee, who was in the chat earlier. Press, failing the light jump and deciding just to go down. Slide. And still looking for that PB, man. Nice triple there. Not turning enough to get those turn casts, though. That missed. That missed again. <laughs> and failing the final, uh, failing the PB here, but he's gonna take the win so long as he doesn't. Replay. Still missing that M again. Finally, get killing it. Oh wait, this 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 is close. This is this is real close. No wait, no this is this is a PB friend. Wait, no, it's close. But it looks like a PB. It looks like either a one second PB or a tie PB here for Act. Most likely a tied. But we'll see. Parathon just got the email. Affiliate. Oh boy. Does he get it? He gets it. The PB by 1.8 seconds. Congrats to Ent. I missed the end timer because I was looking. But congrats to Ent. <laughs> Congrats to end on the PB taking home the victory. Not too bad. Let's head in there. Hey -o. Hello. Congrats on the PB and can't hear you. I see that your thing is going, but I just can't hear you for some reason. But we got Ramon here as well. Hello. Ramon, are you ready for your race? In um, <laughs> yeah. I'd be ready. So, Ent pulling out the one second PB somehow. Even with large mistakes in Carpe Final and back in time, that allowed Rust to come back somewhat. But, uh, that's, uh, with floats, yes, Max, but Gars losing just too much time to the, uh, lag jumps and all that, so not able to come within two minutes, within a minute of end time, even. This is the first upset of the tournament in a group that's getting weirder and weirder by the minute. At first, we had... A uh, forfeit in in the in the group, so that opened it up completely. A forfeit from and and, and rest just ending stream.